Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out at the 2021 SEMA show and I came across what I believe is a 1937 International Harvester. I think y'all are gonna like it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll check it out real quick. What about that? I say it's a 1937 International again. I couldn't find anything on this one, just some pictures and the pictures I found, that's what they had it listed as. And I went and looked to make sure that it closely resembled a 1937 International. And there was there were some pictures there of some cab overs that you could see the nose in, but I could find nothing that even closely resembled what you're looking at here. I don't know what it started as. I am sure, pretty sure, that it didn't have side pipes and was laying on the ground back in the day. But how cool! I love the red line tires. It's like a little Hot Wheels. It's kind of like a mini truck because it looks like a big truck, but it's really not when you look at the cars next to it. I dig the interior. That houndstooth, that looks good. That's very nice. I like the door panels. I like the color. I like the gauge cluster, the dash. I like everything they did. Very clean. And it pops. That red and that black has that hot rod look to it. Very nice. Oh, I dig the whole thing. I don't have to know what it is to like it. But yeah, this, I, I think that it's all on one chassis. You know? I don't think it separates. And again, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything that, outside of like a cab over heavy duty pickup truck kind of a thing, had the same noses that this one had, but nothing that had a big camper box on it in the back like that. So I would say that's all custom fabricated. This is another one too that looks simple. And if they made something close to this and they just painted it and you know got it shiny and straight, okay. But I don't think so. I don't think they ever made anything like this. And that, you know this is what's cool. You, I talked to so many people that are building a, you know whatever a 68 to 72 C10, talking about you know I want to make it different. Dude, if you want to make it different, start with something different. You know, first-gen Camaros, Tri-5s, C10 pickup trucks, they are all very cool cars. But you're not going to be able to make them different without making them weird or, you know, crazy looking. But when you can take something that nobody's ever heard of and have this idea of making it way cool, man, that, to me, that's how you do the different. Otherwise, just step up and do it right make you know i mean like i said first generation camaro you can't even really cut on those you know wide body and wear but you can't chop them they look silly when you do that a lot of times not all the time but a lot of the times and this thing i mean side pipes hanging out the side of it and you know what was it a delivery truck of some sort back in the day can you imagine if you would have told the guy that used this to deliver whatever it was that hey someday this truck's going to be at sema as a hot rod laying on the ground. Well, he would have thought you were crazy. I dig it. I think it was very nicely done. And I think there is a lot of work represented in front of us right there. I love how that engine peeks out of the side there. That is so cool. And how the box is separate. But at the end of the day, I don't think it is separate. I think it's all one unit. And of course, laying on the ground, I dig that. I love that big grill in the front. I like the emblem. I like the headlights. I just dig the whole thing. I'm a fan. So there you go from the 2021 SEMA show. What I believe is a 1937 international heavy duty truck turned into a crazy laid on the ground custom hot rod truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.